Good morning, guys. Welcome to the shop. I thought I'd just do a quick little show and tell today. Yesterday I spent uh, all morning working on this little homemade tramming indicator holder for the mill. Um, I didn't have any square bar stock. I made it all out of aluminum, uh, and that's good enough for me. Um, in fact, I don't know if steel would have been any better, and I'm not sure that it matters. I don't understand all the physics or the geometry perfectly, but uh, anyway, what this does, it holds two indicators. These are about six inches apart. I, I set it up for my mill so that uh, I could s test it two ways. So you, you want to be able to test it uh, front to back. That's the nod of the head so that, that the head on the mill will nod forward towards the operator or away. And then it also uh, tilts, it has a, a screw and you can actually, it's designed to be tilted left and right. Even though the column is dovetail, the whole thing goes up and down when you crank up and down on the hand wheel. But uh, you still have to check it to make sure that it's all trammed is what that's called. And uh, so it's not, so that it's perfectly perpendicular to the table. So when you're making a cut that it's not angling the, the cutter or something like that. But, so anyway, this is, uh, I forget the dimensions now. I, I think this is half inch round stock and this is a little bit smaller. Uh, I milled flat across the top of there so that that would seat nice. Uh, tapped a hole in it and put a cap screw in there. Um, these are just bored out to size and then there's a little uh, set screw at the end to hold it. Um, you adjust this or you calibrate it, which is kind of interesting, by uh, setting it on the table. Yeah, this would be on the mill table when you're doing it, but then you, I put a little uh, magnet underneath of one tip, just a real thin uh, neodymium magnet, and, and you zero out the scale. You just let it uh, engage the scale a little bit, doesn't matter where. Then you can zero the scale. Then you pivot this around 180 degrees like that, and you have to look at it from the back, but then you set this one to zero. And then that's calibrated so then they match then you can take the magnet out and then you can test it uh, for left and right mine was off just a little bit and i'd done this once before i borrowed one of these things from a guy uh, and uh, it was off just a little bit uh, but that was a year or two ago when i did that and i'd been messing with it and never really paid much attention to it which is for me most of the time i don't even have the the vice trammed in square because it, I'm not doing that much stuff where it's critical. Um, so I keep kind of keep in mind uh, what I'm doing and whether or not I really need it to be critical. Um, so I uh, decided to go ahead and do that uh, yesterday and uh, that's that's what I've been working on. Get back to the airplane today. I hope the day before yesterday I finished up the uh, modification to the cover plate. Um, I, I split it about uh, what that's three holes back from the firewall added this uh, plate with uh, five screws and then did the same thing back here right in front of the fuel valve so then to install this that'll go underneath of there and then it lays down over the top like that and uh, that modification is so that you can more easily get to the fuel filter and uh, anything else in there you want to inspect um, Probably only a once a year thing at the annual, but uh, still this will make it a lot easier. So I probably won't ever have to remove the front panel to get at anything once the airplane has been inspected and flying. And then you don't have to remove the handle from the fuel valve if you want to pop that off of there and, and check in there. And you don't have to take seats out either. So uh, that's one of the popular mods. Um, and it wasn't hard to do, especially since I'm still building. Um, but uh, and I got fuel lines. Uh, the main fuel line from that 90 there uh, bent and it comes out through the hole in the wing or th through the hole in the side there to the wing and uh, those are brake lines that you're seeing there. Um, that's about it. It's a big mess. I need to uh, probably do a shop cleanup day. See you next time.